Hello and welcome to Jewellery Rescue. If you're new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we're on a thrifty road trip. It's been ages since we did this. I've got a little bit of Christmas money in my pocket. The kids have gone back to school and we are in Alton, which is a little town in Hampshire in England. We've come here because I set up a new retailer in November with my upcycled jewellery. So we're going to see how they're getting on and then we're going to do the charity shops in town. So I'll do just a little bit of footage to show you the town and then we'll get straight into the haul. So this is Fill Up where I've recently started selling my upcycled jewellery. It's a really gorgeous zero waste shop where you can get refills of all of your household goods, your toiletries, your cleaning products and as you can see lots of food products as well. The smell is amazing. You can even get a fresh coffee in here, you can buy coffee beans to take home, it really it has everything. For a small store they're really well stocked. This is my upcycled jewellery display. I've got earrings, bracelets, necklaces and all sorts in there. So I checked in on them and then I went down to Oxfam a couple of doors down. They had a cabinet of jewellery and a little stand and I found something really cool which I will show you in a moment when we're back with the haul. On to Cancer Research where I found a couple of roll neck jumpers on the one pound rail just to keep me warm in the winter. No jewellery in here but I did pick up a few bits of householdy items and I'll show you a couple of those in the haul as well. From there I went on to St Michael's Hospice which is my favourite shop in the town. They are really reasonably priced and I got all sorts of things in there including a couple of jewellery pieces. Into Scope I didn't find anything in there and then on to Naomi House and Jack's Place where I found a lovely mid-century necklace. And then on the way back to the car I found this place, Resurrection Furniture, which I had missed before and they had loads of jewellery for a pound each so I picked up quite a lot in there and I'm going to show you everything in the hall now. Okay, I've got loads to show you. Um, one of the things that I've been looking for for ages, which I'm really excited to have found, is another earring stand. I have this exact stand in one of my retailers and I've been hoping to find another one for so long. And there it was for £2.25. So I'm really chuffed with that. I also got a few bits for display and storage. I picked up this cool hashtag hook which I'm going to hang on the wall and probably hang bits of chain from so I can grab them easily. And for our 1000 subscriber party, I picked up a make your own word banner and some bunting. As you know, I like to buy as much as I can secondhand and I've been wondering about how I could decorate the workshop for that live. Didn't want to get balloons because obviously that's not a sustainable choice. So I'm really pleased with those. I'm wondering if we might do that next week or possibly the week after. Keep an eye in my community posts and I'll put a little poll in there to see when everybody's available to do it. I picked up this to go in my diary, you just stick it in the back and it's a flat pen, that was quite cool. I also picked up this little light box photo frame which again can go on the wall. I'm reorganising my space and I thought it would be fun to maybe put my business logo on and then I could use it on store display in the workshop or in one of the retail shops. And I also picked up a keyboard for my iPad. I don't know if it will work, but it was only three pounds. So I thought I would give it a go. Uh, and one other thing that wasn't jewelry, I couldn't resist picking up this coin purse and card wallet. It's from And Other Stories. Would have been really expensive. It just needs a, a tiny little clean. It was one pound 49. So that will most likely go in my eBay shop. It looks like it's nice leather. So I couldn't resist that one did find quite a lot of jewellery so where did we start do you know what I'm going to show you the first piece I found last because it's my favourite one um, I went into the St Michael's Hospice shop which is really good value they price everything really low and I've found some sterling silver bits in there before I picked up this one which is what looks like a handmade glass piece it's a little brooch it was 50p no markings on the back, it's probably an artisan one. I just thought it was really cute. I couldn't leave it there for 50p. They also had a display of earrings, which were 50p or a pound. And I picked up these Sphinx ones. They're the Starburst design. And they've got the number on the back there. I think I may have the necklace unlisted somewhere at the moment. So I'll have a look and see if I can list those together. That was a nice find for 50p. And even though I've got loads of these, I couldn't resist picking this up for 75p. It's just a vintage plastic 
beaded necklace. Fun, fun, fun. Then I went down, I think this was the next find to Na Naomi House and Jack's Place. And I picked up this mid-century modern pendant. I've had variations of this in before. It's got a nice bit of mother of pearl shell on there. And it's just a silver tone long chain. I get the rings in regularly as well and various pendants they usually go quite quickly in my Etsy shop. That was two pounds, I think. Yeah, two pounds. So that was a nice little find. As I was leaving, I discovered this last shop, which I previously had thought was a furniture shop. I hadn't realised that they had other things. So I was really pleased to find they had loads of jewellery in there and most of it was a pound each. So I picked up lots of things. They had a big basket of bracelets. This is a very old wire and glass beaded bracelet. It sadly does have two broken beads, but I did manage to find the piece of this other broken one. So I'm gonna glue those back together. Do you think I should glue them together and then sell it and obviously say that I've repaired it as is? Or because it has gone rusty on the wire, do I cut it up and reuse these beads for something else? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not sure what to do with that one. I also picked up this Disney charm bracelet with the thought that I will make these into earrings. They'll be quite nice in my shops for um, children. That's quite cute. I also picked up this vintage gold tone chain uh, bracelet again and I'm thinking that I would turn that into a charm bracelet by attaching pendants and charms and single earrings and things. This one I got quite excited about. Really pretty gated bracelet. It's not gold sadly but it is gold plated. You can see that the, the plating has worn off quite badly but for a pound I just couldn't leave it there it's such a classic design this I think needs a repair the closure it doesn't actually clip closed so I need to have a look at that and see if I can fix it if not I could glue it in place and then just put a, hang, have that hanging and then just put a clasp on there but it's got to be worth a pound of anybody's money cute vintage style I found these white Milk glass beads. Are they milk glasses? Again, I said this before, I need to research this. I'm not really sure if all white vintage glass is milk glass or if there's something particular about it. This needs to have a really good clean. It's got verdigris on the wire there. So again, do I cut that up and make some special earrings and rings or restring it? Or do I clean it and sell it as is? Let me know what you think. I also picked up this one, which is faux amber. Let me just zoom out a little bit. It's a faux amber chunky necklace. And I picked it up because, again, these were all a pound. Um, I did sell a chunky faux amber necklace recently on eBay, and it went for good money. I think it was somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds. So that would be quite a good return on a pound. So I thought I would give that one a go. Then I also picked up this one, which has just got a beautiful glass bead. The chain has really gone past it. It was an old plated chain that's gone horrible. So what I intend to do is cut this free and make it into a new pendant. Or perhaps a focal on a beaded necklace. It's got really nice foil inside it. It's a lovely glass bead. And this one... I thought was really fun. What's it made of? Let's have a look. Oh, it's polymer clay. So each of these is a piece of polymer clay, like Fimo. Let's see if I can get it out on my hand so you can see it nicely. I'll tell you what, let's put it on the table. So it's really pretty colours of greens and greys. And it's got a nice wire closure. This is a non-magnetic chain. It could be silver. Mm, I think it might be copper that's been plated, actually. I can see some red coming through there. But in any case, it's a lovely 
handmade necklace. And again, just a pound. Now, are you ready for my favourite piece of the day? So this has the look of a Jackie Brazil Sobral piece. Let's just have a look together. I can't see any markings on. I think it's a look-alike. Let's just check every single piece, just in case, because you never know. It's really cool. It's got something encased in it. Look at the colours. Isn't it amazing? So this is definitely one for myself. I'm going to wear this. It was five pounds. It's really heavy, actually. I just thought it was awesome. Not to everybody's taste, I appreciate. No, I can't see any markings on it at all. But how cool is that? So that was Alton in Hampshire. What did you think? What was your favourite find? Did you think it was a good trip? If you haven't seen my other thrift haul videos, I will pop the playlist up here and another video for you to check out as well. Don't forget that if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit that bell. Do stick around because in the next week or two, we will be doing the 1000 subscriber live party. I'm really excited to do that with you. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.